When it comes to Grand Theft Auto V, there's no lack of fan-made content, whether it be Star Destroyer mods or, well, Trevor Phillips fanfiction. I mean, what do you expect from a game that's shipped over 80 million copies? But with so many eyeballs on the game and so many people coming up with their own take on events, there's bound to be some crazy theories. What's up guys, I'm Dave Klein, and these are the top 5 craziest GTA V fan theories. Number 5. Credit where credit is due. This one comes from Redditor Citizen Wolf. The idea being that each of the three main characters in Grand Theft Auto V represent different eras of GTA. In order, the insanity of Trevor represents GTA 1 and 2. Similar to those games, he's all about maniacal fun, with his Rampage missions being similar to the Kill Frenzy side missions of the former games. Citizen Wolf notes that his special skill is invincibility, which he believes reflects the feeling you get when you play those old games. Franklin, meanwhile, represents the entirety of GTA 3, including Vice City and San Andreas. He's the character who wants to move up in life in spite of his friends who are always holding him back and ends up falling into a criminal career. And it's due to wanting to make a better life for himself, he ends up moving up ranks in the criminal underworld. While Franklin is most similar to CJ from San Andreas, he still has aspects of characters from all three games, right down to his special skill being driving, a main focus of GTA 3 games. Finally is Michael DeSanta, who represents more of the story-driven GTA 4 and aftermath of living the GTA lifestyle. Michael is trying to get away from the criminal lifestyle, but it keeps on finding him, and similar to Nico, oftentimes due to their current and former criminal connections. Citizen Wolf believes Michael's shooting skills mirror the more gun-based gameplay of 4 and 5. While Rockstar stated that the three different characters are supposed to represent three different playstyles of various players, it is fun to also think of them as tributes to the franchise as a whole. Number 4. Rockstar stated that there are three official universes in Grand Theft Auto. The 2D universe, which includes GTA 1 and 2, as well as GTA London. The 3D universe, which includes all of the GTA 3 titles and their spin-offs. And finally, the HD universe, which consists of GTA 4 and 5. But what if all of Rockstar games take place within one of these universes? At least, that's the question Redditor Dr. Tatertoss poses. In GTA 5, a book titled Red Dead can be found in Travis's house, written by a certain J. Marston. And while this could simply be an easter egg, Dr. Tatertoss believes that it could have been written by John Marston of Red Dead Redemption's son, Jack. He also believes that a hat you can find in the overworld of L.A. Noir is the same hat as John Marston's, hence putting both the Red Dead series and L.A. Noir in the HD GTA universe. Similarly, Bullworth Academy, the location of Rockstar's bully, is mentioned on a radio show in GTA 4 as where a celebrity went to school. Meanwhile, Carcer City of Rockstar's manhunt is noted to be near Liberty City. But what do you think? Fun Easter eggs, or are all the Rockstar universes all connected? Number 3. In a similar vein, Redditor Banjo Daxter suggests all of the other Rockstar games, such as Red Dead Redemption, are forms of entertainment in the Grand Theft Auto universe. So that very same book is the home to multiple theories. Also, apparently you can find a Manhunt action figure in San Andreas, although you can also find action figures from GTA Vice City. So would that mean GTA Inception? Banjo Daxter also suggests LA Noir could be a TV show and Rockstar Table Tennis a sports broadcast. Although there's really no evidence to either of these things, so think what you want. Number two. This one comes from Redditor Angry Puppy, who believes the island of GTA 5 is a satire of America. He poses that this is to say that the American people who live there don't care about anything happening in the world outside of their tiny island. They're so consumed in their own lives, nothing else matters. The city is both actually an island, and metaphorically so, as a representation of the American people cut off from the outside world. Although he does also note that it could be simply due to Rockstar not wanting to have an invisible wall, and an island is an easy way to prevent that, which seems pretty likely. Number one. Okay, so this one is a little out there, but it's fun to think about. Redditor Gallagher222 has come up with a theory as to how the Wanda levels work in the GTA series. He notes that no matter what, if you kill a civilian, even with no witnesses, you'll get a one star rating. But what if there's more to it? What if life insurance companies monitor all of their clients which would theoretically have to be everyone here, by implanting a chip into their body that tracks their heartbeat and vital signs. I mean, there's absolutely no evidence to this, like, at all. But think about it. 
While a lot of these could be chalked up to coincidence and Easter eggs, were there any fan theories that stood out to you as being plausible or that you simply enjoyed? And what are some of your favorite fan theories I may have missed? Let me know and I'll see you next time. Peace.